Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm going to head on over to East Sussex National to play a round of golf and to get there in rather a lot of luxury we've got the brand new BMW 850i. We're going to head on over there. The weather is gorgeous. We're in an absolutely fantastic V8 car. I don't think things could actually get any better. Just an absolutely fantastic round of golf here at East Sussex National. Look at the weather, it's incredible. But now it's time to go home in the 8 Series. The most important thing, can we actually get these clubs in the back of this car? We've got two options. We can either wave my foot around underneath or use this rather large key. So we use the key, press the button down, and here we go. Now this is the test, isn't it? Will these clubs actually fit in the car? right it's looking promising oh look at that you could almost fit two clubs now i've also got my trolley this is really important as well will all of this fit in oh look at that tons of room got a button up here so you don't get dirty hands and it closes brilliant now look at the back of this car i think this looks fantastic it's wide, it's aggressive, it's low looking. We've got the same sort of lights as you found on the Z4. They're a lot thinner and wrap around the side of the car. Wide haunches from the back give it quite an aggressive look. Going down now, this model is X-Drive. Now what that means is it's permanent four wheel drive. So this thing should be very, very quick on the road. We've got the M850i logo. Now moving further down, we've got these hexagonal exhausts. They're the same sort of shape as you found on the Z4. And it seems to be a new design cue that BMW are going for. I think from the side, this car looks, wow, well, look at it. It's brilliant. We've got the traditional GT proportions, long nose on this car. We've got a sloping roof. There is a carbon fiber option on the top of this, but again, optional extra, and I don't know the price of this. The wheels on this, they're pretty substantial at the back. We've got 275, 30, 20, and at the front they're slightly smaller, 245, 30, and 20, and they're around 350 pounds a corner. It's just the subtleties of some of these lines. It just gives it a, well, just a really, really classy look. Moving around the front of this car, I think the star of the show has got to be these laser lights on here. These things are so bright like the power of the sun at night and they will do it's around 600 meters and there's a subtle blue tint to them as well but as it's broad daylight you won't be able to see that the kidney grills on this model again it's traditionally bmw but they are they're slightly wider slightly more aggressive tech wise we've got the camera at the front but generally i love it it really does feel at home here so we're going to hop in the car and i think we need to head out because Wow, it's just so much fun to drive.
Ah, in from the sun, it's been pretty gorgeous and the perfect day for the golf. Not very good at it, mind you, but it's more about this car, isn't it, as opposed to golf. Now, foot on the brake as all BMWs and let's press the start button. Oh, fruity. It's been in sport for the moment. And we're in reverse. Now, the thing I love about this, which is great because it's such a big car, we've got 360 degree reversing cameras. So on the left we've got the main rear one and then we can see what's going on around me because this thing, compared to anything else I've driven, it's like a bus. It is a very, very long car. <laughs> There's a lot to it. It's very, I think, you've obviously had a 7 Series. Um, about the same size would you say? or Same footprint, certainly. So we'll, we'll leave it in sport just for a minute. We. Uh, this car is a bit of an animal, 4.4 V8 with a turbocharger on it, looking at 530 odd brake and about the same in foot pound of torque as well. So this thing really does, well you've seen what it was like a bit earlier on, you put your foot down and it absolutely flies. And while flying your fuel consumption, hmm, yes. <laughs> It's not. <laughs> I don't it's, want to have to be pushing this. No. <laughs> yeah, it's got an 18 gallon tank, so you're looking well over 100 pounds to fill it up. And you'll get maybe 250, maybe 300 miles out of a tank. So it's. Uh, oh. Certainly got the noise. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the only thing I will say, which I know a lot of people have moaned about, the fact it's sound piped into the cabin with the um, new lovely EU fuel regulations. Oh, hang on. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Really pushes you back in the seat. <laughs> That's bonkers. Anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, noise. Um, EU regulations and particulate filters, etc. have sort of dumbed down a lot of the the sounds of these, I think all cars are going to suffer from it, I've had it with the Mini, uh, the newest ones I've driven there, so it's it's definitely quieter than probably previous generation V8, so you, I suppose it's a way of, what do you reckon, BMW trying to get around the noise thing? I think it probably is to inject that excitement for driving, but for a long drive it's going to be more comfortable. Yeah, completely agree with that. You arrive there, there and without bleeding ears. <laughs> I did a longer journey yesterday, I did about 70 or 80 miles, put the cruise control on, oh and it was so relaxing, it was, yeah, it's, it's a GT car at the end of the day, it's cruising across Europe into the Alps and other lovely places like that, and yeah, it, it's got all of the gadgets that you could ever possibly want. And the wonderful thing, we've got head up display so there's nothing, nothing new there but you get a picture of the speed limit there and then when you come up to the next speed limit it shows you a little picture of the speed and you can just press the set button on the steering wheel and it'll just go up to the next speed so you just don't touch the brake accelerator. I've not seen that before. No? No. It's not in your Mini or? No. I didn't have it in the 7 either. Um, but I suppose new technology. Um, but yeah, we've got this. It's the same display as we had on we reviewed the Z4, I don't know if anyone watched the video, put a card just up there so go and watch that. It's got exactly the same sort of dials there, same infotainment, uh, infotainment system either, and it's got the latest version of the iDrive and that's that's pretty good to be honest. We've got so many settings, you can either, it's touch screen so I can go into nav for example, you've got a full size map and it's really responsive, I really like that. So, yeah, it's a really good system. Yeah, it does work rather well. So, car for example, you can. I'm not going to fiddle too much with that because I'll. Uh, <laughs> not I'll <in> traffic. <laughs> no. Although I think it has got emergency brake, so we're we're built right. Yeah, we might be, but the person behind might <laughs> end up in the boot. Yeah. And on the boot, uh, it's actually quite a big boot considering. Um, you think so? I'm not sure. No, you're, no. you're a bit. No, I'm, I'm I'm not sold on the boot. 
Mind you, I'm not sold on the back seats either. Yeah, no, that, that, <laughs> I think, yeah, I that, think that. you may travel with a hanky, <laughs> maybe a packed lunch. Yeah. yeah, I think they should have just personally just not bothered with, with the back seats. No, I think you're right. So what do you think of the price of the car? £73,000 starting. Which is ballpark of the seven, so luxury comes at a price, yeah. but this is a lot more. I think for this, you're looking at you know, changing your name to Shake, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's it's that that model, uh, bottom of the range, with no extras at all, that's the 840D. And that's still pretty quick anyway, you're looking at 60 in just under five seconds. But this one, on the other hand, this is the flagship model and it's got absolutely everything pretty much I think you can get with it but this is a hundred and fifteen thousand pounds just take it in a hundred and fifteen thousand pounds that's that's a chunk of money yeah you okay. can get quite a lot it's competing I suppose with I'm trying to think luxury GTs well Possibly. the i8 is the same sort of money right yeah so I think yeah I think they're about the same sort yeah. of money but the i8 is arguably the future, um, where the world is much more a green place. Yeah. This is not an uneconomical car for what it is. No, no, I agree. It is just an uneconomical car. Yeah. yeah. It's two tons at the end of the day as well. And we'll we've got the X drive, so that's permanent four wheel drive, and it will do 60 in 3.7 seconds. And that is just insane. Two tons in 3.7 seconds. We've got a number of different driving modes down here, so... Yeah, know. so we, we've got Sport, which is um, evident. <laughs> it goes even in comfort, this thing. Yeah. So then you've got various different levels of, of comfort. So you have your standard comfort and then you have Eco Pro. So to squeeze as much of that um, goodness from the drop of oil as you possibly can, you can use that. I don't know who will ever use that. I pressed it, I pressed it accidentally. Pressed it. Yeah, I, I meant to do it, but I missed the right. I missed sport and hit it. Did, so. did the world smell cleaner? It did. It smelled of <laughs> cut grass, and I could hear animals thanking us for right. not pressing Bleating sports. In the background. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you've got adaptive, and I think in this it's tied into the nav system, so it, I believe, I might be talking rubbish. I think it reads what's coming up ahead and starts selecting settings appropriate to what is about to happen. So if you've suddenly got a load of S's, nice twisty curves, and you're pushing it, it will adjust various items to make it the most comfortable of those S's yeah. that you could use. Um, but I could be lying. And notice you've got um, blind spot assist on this as well. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, I thought it'd pop up earlier. That's a very, very good idea. Yeah, it's like I said. I I personally feel it's a big. It's a, huge. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, but your viewers will not know this, but no. when we parked it in a standard-sized car park, the nose was a good foot over the front. Yeah, that was mad. It's like all the way back, and it's like, hang on. It makes you a bit nervous. Um, actually, yesterday I parked in Tesco's, and you're leaving a car of this value. Surely you have a man to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Or a lady. Or a lady. Or a lady, a person. Um, a yeah. <laughs> we found these smaller roads were in comfort. This was a bad idea. This was... This was not a good idea. No. Thank you. I, I, uh, um, yeah, these back roads. So we were in, or we're in comfort at the moment. So if we press sport, so it just firms everything up with adaptive dampers. Steering is heavier. Change gear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, have you heard the burp? The, so it, it burbles and croaks. Ooh. It, it sounds amazing from the outside. A little less in here because of the insulation. Yeah. Don't frighten the cyclist. And the horse. <laughs> and the horse. Oh, God. Right, let's, let's, tuck up on here. let's go into Eco Pro. So maybe that might make it quieter just for a minute. We'll um, wait for a horse. I don't want the horse sitting on the car. No. Oh, that's better. Let's turn yeah. this off. There we go. One feature of the car. I hope it's not like my car when it starts. 
Oh god, the roar. <laughs> yeah, start stop technology is good. It's the friend of the horse. Oh, that was I was really worried about that. We've got in terms of luxury feature, we've got the clarity pack. I think it's around sort of eight or nine hundred pounds, and that gives us this diamond crystal thing on top of your gear stick. A bit of a modest. Yeah. It's mm. a bit peculiar. <laughs> it's unusual, yes. Yeah. So we, we've got to say. I'm not sure I'd want that. I do like the glass on the um, volume control and also down on the iDrive selector. I think that's quite nice. But I'm. It's okay. It's not offensive, but I'm not sure. I think I may want to save £900 because that would cover my first week's fuel um, in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. <laughs> No sunroof though. No. Now is that because they couldn't fit one in or it's just not been optioned? Hmm. Good point. But we have got Alcantara. We can stroke, can the, stroke roof. the roof. I don't know why, again it's another another thing you I can understand having on the nice touch points sort of having Alcantara because you're gonna like on the steering wheel for example, on the seats. The, the only people I think to touch the roof is when you say, oh, it's got an Alcantara roof. And then that's you straight the roof, and that's it. Does it come with a, uh, a brush to <laughs> relay Clean your rubbish. nap? Especially if you've got, imagine having kids, and you've got sticky fingers, and chocolate on them or something, and wiping yeah. it. It's the perfect place to wipe chocolate fingers on. It, 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 yes. <laughs> but I'm not sure how many kids you get in it. Certainly nothing more than... It does have... It's got ice ...child seats. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll end up with the, the back of the seats all grubby from little paws backing yeah. up against it. But um, I can't imagine that you'd use this as a family car. No. No, it's, it's a really nice place to be. I mean, from, from my point of view, I've got a lovely M steering wheel. I've got ele It's actually electrical control, so I can change the position. None of that manual rubbish going on. Dials are wonderful, they're nicely laid out in front of me, very clear. Love the infotainment system. I've got a really, really good sound system in here. This is the top of the range Harman Kardon system. Again, it's another optional extra, but. It, it is worth it though. Yeah, it's fantastic. I would put it on, but then you get lovely copyright strikes from YouTube. You would. Know. It'd be but, interesting to compare this with a £73,000 base model. Yes. Which should also be a very nice car, right? Yeah, they've got the 840D in Chandler's um, house room, so maybe if this does well. Guys, give this lots of thumbs up and nice comments, and hopefully the guys there might lend me the 840D and we can we can see how that compares. So it'd be, it, it, You're right, it would be interesting to find out if this car is worth a considerable lump more but what's it like from your from passenger's point of view? It's nice. I and mean, it is it's BMW. BMW very, very good quality, excellent stance on the road, you know, good ride. Even in the sport it wasn't too choppy. No. Um, but it's a nice car. You could see yourself doing some miles in this and uh, climbing over the other side without having to visit a chiropractor. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of legroom. Loads of legroom in the front. Yes. <laughs> Zero yeah. behind. Right? I think if I reach back now, so in your driving position, and what are you, 5'11", 6'? Uh, yeah, probably like about 6'. Um, so I can just about fit my hand between the rear seat, seat really, that's, that's and your it. chair. That's not really what you want. Um, now this is a safety feature I found. You put it in sport. And when you come across a junction, you can mm. I need to go back and pick up my liver. <laughs> that is just it's outrageous, really. So, what's your what do you think of the car overall, then? It's a lovely car. Um, unfortunately, I wouldn't be buying it at its price. It, it is a lot of money for what you're getting. It's a fantastic car, yeah. but it's not a family car, it's not a race car, it's not any of those things. It's a long-legged GT car with plus two. Yeah. 
which really I think they should have just put more storage, made it a true two-seater. I, I think you're done right. with it. I think that will only be used for storage or very small children in child seats. Yeah. But overall, I think my opinion is I absolutely love it as well from a driver's point of view. It's, it's great fun. It's done some long distance, some fun as well. Put it in sports mode, go manual, and you can absolutely have a bit of a riot with this thing. Like you were saying, that it's a bit of a difficult one because it's not an out and out sports car, maybe like an Aston. But overall, it's, it's just a lovely GT car, and I'm really pleased that. Chandler's in Houch and BMW actually lent us the car because I would love to own something like this but at the moment it's PCP payments on this may be a bit scary. They might be a bit large. Yeah, I, I will be getting a tent and sleeping in a field if I was going to buy this but yeah. <laughs> yeah. overall I think yeah. I'm not sure I'd your just, wife would appreciate it. No, I'd get her a tent as well. Just be uh, <laughs> You get her a tent as well. Yeah, we'd have two tents. We'd <coughs> really, tent. yeah, we'd live it up, but yeah. Overall, guys, I think this is fantastic. Give the guys down at Chandler's a shout if you are even slightly interested. Give them a ring. This is a demonstrator. So you can go and grab the keys for this and go and enjoy yourself as well. But on that note, guys, I'm going to call this video to a close. I'm going to carry on enjoying myself. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comments about the car are always welcome. And remember to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.